G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Hunty and Tea. Today we're going out chasing some cherubin. We're only going to put two pots in and these pots are ones I've made. Uh, one of them's one of my first designs. This is my second in design. So first design was just a round pot. They've got to be within 70 centimeters by 50 centimeters and the entry holes have to be 90 centimeters. Uh, uh, 90 mil. So this one here is the new design I've made. Again, you can only have 90 mil entries. I've uh, made it triangle because I'd want the pot to sit flatter on the bottom. These are just ways to funnel up the, the cherubin into the pots. Um, I don't know how you can, if you can see it, but the next one we're gonna do, I'm gonna weld the triangles and then b uh, build the braces and then coat it in wire. But we'll see, we've only put two out. You're allowed to have five per person or three in the daily, or um, uh, 10 per boat, as long as there's two people or more on the boat. And at the daily, you're only allowed six on the boat, no matter how many people. All right, well, that's the rules and regulations out of the way. Well, we're gonna go start heading down to the creek. Yo! All right, we've got some buffalo here that have chunked up. Hold that back. Chuck that in there. All right, well. Ooh, the mozzies are coming out in force. Uh, and then just give this can a couple of stabs. Just to keep the sardine juice coming out. That should do. Get me knife back. Close the hatch. All right. All right, key thing here. I'm gonna throw it here near all those bushes and stuff. It's on the bottom. Spiders everywhere. Oh no, that's a croc right there. <laughs> I'll quickly um, see, have a look at him, see how big he is. Damn it. Of course there's gonna be a croc right there. He's already gone under. He knew I'd saw him. Very small, but it might chew up the pot. We'll see what happens. Could be monsters in here though. This goes for ages, this is a really good spot. All right, well, back your head torch down a little bit. All right, time check, it's 7.30. I would have got here at last light, so that, the first pot's been in there probably I don't know maybe half hour or so oh we'll go walk the banks if they don't get eaten by a pig or bitten by a snake let's do this I don't know how no. long I don't think I was recording oh well that sucks, I thought you was watching. Just went to turn his off. And I got the first cherubin of the night. As you can see it. That's not a bad cherubin. As you can see, look. Oh, this ate a bug. 
Sorry about that, I thought you were on, damn it. Oh well, that's one red claw, one cherubin. Not a bad start for the beginning of the, the, the shift of the walker. I've only done, this is my first up and back, so generally it could be a bit slow on your first up and back. I'll turn this light up a bit. That's probably where I got confused. Oh, I'll turn this off. Alright, red claw. Beautiful. Another one. Another nice size one. And a big claw. On ice, claw. Alright, here's a monster one. Got him. That's a red claw, big one. Male. Not even spiked, he's just wedged between it. So, as you can see, it's a all right size red claw. Turn his up again. Alright. Oh, is that all foggy now? It's unreal. Every time something good happens, this GoPro is freezing tonight. Alright. I just don't get why this sort of stuff happens. As you can see, it's a big one, or a decent sized one. Well, that's my hand. Oh, this is just getting so annoying. Why can't it just play fairly? Oh, hope I can get some on film. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a cherubin, that's his claws. If you go from claw to tip me to thing, it's as long as my arm. Oh well, that goes in the bag. Hopefully I didn't lose all that footage for the last half hour. This bite's the big one when this sort of stuff happens. Bugs in me eyes of doing all this and then the footage is... The, the GoPro keeps shitting itself. Alright, before I turn these off, I'll turn around and see if there's any... I speared a really big red claw, but he came off and then the cherubin appeared. So I just jumped straight over and got the cherubin. And he flicked off. Something right there. It was something right there. Not anymore. Oh, it's a red claw. Alright, 
Another red claw. So with two cherim, five red claw, we're gonna be eating good. We haven't checked the pots. We'll check them before I leave and then again in the morning. Let's have one more look before we turn these up and we do another spot. Hopefully you turn back on again, because the first cherubin I got, that you hit, I missed, it swam out and around, and then I used the light and it came back in, it flicked, and then I stabbed it right beside the bank by just using the torch to coach it in. And then this one here was, it was either I threw the spear or I was not gonna get him, and I threw it, and um, is that a whisker? No, it's a prime prong. Oh well, we'll keep going. All right, this is the golden tree snake. As you can see it, it's getting away real quick. Don't run there in case there's any more snakes. Yeah, that's the golden tree snake, harmless. As you can see, he was more scared of me than anything else. All right, I'll turn his back off. All right, there's a big cherub down here. Oh. He might not come out. As you've seen, it doesn't take it long for it to be replenished. A spot doesn't when you put a bit of bait there. All right there, there's a little one. There's a big one right there. Red claw. Let's go here. Scoots around. No big cherubin. There is a big red claw here. Can't afford to go in the water. Oh. There you go. No big cherubin. Let's see, I was only here a couple of minutes ago. And there goes another big red claw. That's, that's a decent one there. Like when you put it against me, how big my hand is. That's a decent red claw, a good bit of meat on that one. Put it on the ice. And back to having a look. All right, turn these off, so I can get rid of the bugs. Okay, I'm just gonna do a time check. It's only 8.30. It was 7.30 when we put the pots out. So I've been here an hour. Maybe I can do one more walk around. Haven't been here very long. So that's one hour and I've gotten, I think it's three cherubin and maybe five red claw or six red claw on the spear. So it didn't take me long, but it did seem like they're all the um, cherubin went dormant. That's enough anyway for a sandwich and a catch cook tomorrow. We've got to come out here and check the pots in the morning. If we let them settle, they've got the best time still. To about midnight to one o'clock in the morning is the best time to get your red claw and your cherubin. You'll notice that when you're out spearing, they just, everything just disappears. So everything goes to bed at a certain hour. They just had enough and, and they shut off for the day. Oh well, one hour is not too bad. I got here as the sun was setting, so probably set, an hour and a half, I'll call it. Uh, an hour and a half session uh, to get a few cherub and, and some red claw. All right, I'll catch you back at the car. All righty, as you can see, from the tip of my two fingers down, 
Not a bad one. <laughs> Check the um, the pot we put out last night. Don't know if we got anything, but Bobby's interested to see what's going on. Excuse me, Bob, let me come down. Don't see anything, but you never know. There is tiny little fish in there, but no cherubin. So spearing is the way to go here. I'm gonna let these little fish go. I'll just give you a show. The fish were in there. They look like barra, but then I don't think they are barra. I think they're some sort of perch. Alrighty. Oh, the pot's still there. Back, Bobby. Bobby, stay away from this edge. Still got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, everyone. This is what we're cooking. As you can tell they're not bad size ones. Grab like him, put it down your arm. If you've seen in other photos, not bad size giant river prawns or the other names cherubin here in the old territory <laughs> river, uh, yeah giant freshwater the uh, giant river prawns or freshwater prawns or cherubin or and these are red claw they're more like a marin but they got this soft bit on the side and that's how you can tell that they're males so that's a female see how it doesn't have the um red on the side where he has the red on the side Oh, and we're going to be cooking these. Alright. Yeah, to go back to the original burner. Me rusted out one because the new one's already broken from brand new. So, go figure. First thing we're going to do is put some real butter in there. Try to give myself a heart attack. Now, you can split these down the middle, but I like... Pulling them out of the shell themselves, the whole. So, we'll chuck everything in. I've rinsed all these and all that. All right, going for the first turn. I think the red claws can wait a little bit longer. Harder shell. Looking good. What you do is you twist it, comes off. I rip the tail off and just peel it back just like a normal prawn. It's gonna get a bit messy. Look, making a mess.
that's our cherubin tail. A bit of garlic sauce on it. So good. Got to be one of the best seafoods out there. I've only had 10 of them. All right, I'm gonna get into this feed of red claw and cherubin. I'm gonna save last cherubin for the last. Eat these red claw and hope to see you on my next adventure. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And um, if you'd like to see some more cherubin videos, hit me up in the comments. Thank you.